Today we're going to talk about the aspect of self-leadership that comes first, understanding your own values. Now it may seem easy, you may be able to rattle off things that are important to you, honesty, integrity, family, but that might not be what really motivates you. It's, not, it's often difficult to kind of suss out what your true values are, and I think it's an iterative process. As your life changes, what you really want to put emphasis on will change. So I did an interesting exercise, actually. Someone sent it to me, one of my colleagues, a personal values assessment. And what it came up with for me is my top values were curiosity, spirituality, wisdom, discipline, and challenge. This started to make a lot of sense for me, and it helped me better understand how I should allocate my time. When I'm frustrated, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, stressed, um, you know, maybe lose, lose a little bit of my cool with my team, it's because I'm not honoring my true values. You know, if I'm going to lead authentically, I need to put this stuff first. So as much as I enjoy leadership, you can see some of these, you know, the, the curiosity, the spirituality, the wisdom, I, I need a lot of alone time to pursue those values. I place a huge emphasis on reading, meditating, and doing yoga. When I'm not doing those things or when, when I feel like I have other things competing for my time and attention, then I start to lose my own mooring. You know, I become more frustrated and a less effective leader. So do the personal values assessment. And the exercise today should be interesting. I mean, you can write your personal values and then take a little online test. See if there's any difference in that and see what it tells you. This has been super instructive to me because I think like at, at my company right now, everyone basically shares the same values, but how they manifest are different. You know, up here, this is all very personal to me. I've, I've looked at other people's values assessments and maybe they're looking for acceptance, for friendship. Those are not some of my top values, but if I'm gonna work well with that person, then I need to understand the difference in how we're showing up and I need to honor their values and they need to understand what mine are so that we can work more effectively together. So, first step in becoming a values-based leader is understanding your core values. Once you know that, you can lead from a place of authenticity. Thanks a lot for joining. See you tomorrow.